don't see. There you are. Pop it. Drop down a little bit. Pop it again. Go to your left. He's seen it. He's seen it. Done. 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 Oh gosh, she said. Where's your net man at? He's over here holding the camera. <laughs> net man's holding the camera. <laughs> She's freezing, but she has got it down. All right, little run down here. Uh, water temp is 37 degrees right now. Uh, 9.48 a.m. We're sitting in uh, 17 foot of water. We've been fishing 15 foot. It's jumping 17 to 15. I must be over a little ditch. Right there's the boat ramp. Literally, right there's the boat ramp. My truck is right there, I think. Yep, that's my truck. I see the crappie monster truck. We're down here at Real Foot. Uh, brought Brittany out here. We wanted to check out this wintertime bite. And all we're doing right now, the water is way up. It has rained a lot in the last few days. And, I mean, it's up in the campground. The tailwaters is muddy, nasty. But out here on the main lake, the water quality is still just fine. And with it being 37 degrees, that tells me these fish are going to set still. It rained two days ago. And that's what I said in one of my earlier videos, uh, the best time to go crappie fishing. Two days after a rain, every single time. Why? Because the water is just almost glass behind me, for one. The front has moved through. The fish have had an opportunity to calm down. And they didn't eat for the last two days. They didn't eat because it was raining it was windy everything had them all jacked up they were all stressed out well now they are smoking it uh britney has been tearing their butts off this morning or should i call her rudolph that nose pretty red there baby uh but hit that subscribe button like this video let's go fishing To your right. Oh. He's looking. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Go back to your left just a little bit. See if he sees it. Pull it back to you. Just back towards the trolling motor, honey. Come to your right. Yep. Game on, baby. Game on. <laughs> it's cold, but is it worth it? Yeah. Finger's about to freeze. <laughs> Good job. Let's throw him in the trolling motor, or in the trolling motor. In the live well with the rest of them back here. See him? Yep. His head's away from us. Pop. Come alive. Oh, oh no, he ripped out. Dang it. Yeah, that one there, he wanted to eat. Let's see if we can get back on him and re catch him. Go to your left just a little bit. Yep. Oh. Let's see if he'll do it again. Pop it. No way. Come on. Go to your left a little bit. Oh, to your right, to your right, to your right. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. He's swimming to the right. Keep going, two feet. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're almost there. I really do want to catch this fish. 
just to show that they'll bite again. I thought he was following you for a second. He acts like he's following. Let's see if he's forgot about that sore in his mouth. Wiggle it. Wiggle it again. Come on, turn up, turn up, come on. Oh, he's gonna turn away. Pop it again. Pop it again. Oh, come on, fish. I really wanna get this on tape. Oh, well. Catch that one. Go to your left. I'm trying to back the boat up. Got him. Yep. Fish Slinger. The killer. Mrs. Crappie Monster getting it done right there. <laughs> Drop down. You're right there with him. I think he just spun towards it. He did. He's just right there with it. Eat it already. Eat it. Oh, he ain't gonna do it. Yeah. And that, folks, is why that live scope will never fish out any lake in the country. Just because you can see them does not mean that they're gonna eat every single time. They're not jumping in the boat. I don't need to wear a helmet to keep them from taking my face off as they jump mm -hmm. in the boat. Uh, you still get aggravated. They still don't cooperate but it's still an absolute blast and a great family time out trying to catch these fish. That ain't looking bad. Come to your right a little bit. Yep. Pop it. Pop it again. Drop down to him. Okay, here he comes. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a big one, Brittany. Can you flip him or do I need to stop filming? And Oh, yeah. Nice fish, nice fish. I can get my line over here. Man, you could use a net man right now. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, baby. Oh, Brittany is putting in the work now. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. All right, she's going to put that in the live well, and we're going to talk here for just a second. That is the margarita small fry. See the rose pearl belly and the green tinted back? Just a uh, eighth ounce uh, chartreuse jig head, number three must add hook. Those are the OTH jig heads, uh, OTHfishing.com for both. Right there is one of the Guthrie Tackle pencil weights with a bobber stop below it. All that is is enough weight to let her move that around in the water to be able to get to the fish when they're... Oh, we got another fish? Yeah. Uh-oh. Gotta stop talking, boys. We got business to attend to right here. <clears throat> All right, 17 feet out is to the left. That bright spot on the side of that tree right there is what we're talking about. All we're doing is we came out off the bank out here. Against that bank over there is a flat. That's where they're gonna spawn at. In the wintertime, they'll pull out into the deeper water off their spawning flats. And that's why we're out here in a little bit deeper water. Well, actually a lot deeper. It's 15 foot here, it's five foot over there. And that's why those fish will be setting out here, feeding up through the winter and getting ready to go spawn. And when they go spawn, 
you'll be able to find them all across the bank, right up next to the bank. That's where a uh, slip bobber and a cork, or a slip bobber and a minna, a uh, regular bobber and a jig. That's where you get in there and really tear them up. So where they're at before then and after then, that is what that we try to let everybody know where to go, how to find them. But we're just floating around in open water out here. We're finding a few on sticks. Most of them that we're having success with are suspended a couple of feet off the bottom but they're just suspended in open water. And that's what they do when it gets cold. They don't care near as much about structure. They just wanna be left alone and grab an easy meal when they can. Right, yep, drop. He's seen it, got him. Oh, missed him. You're about lined up with him. You're just out in front of him. All right, pop it. See if he'll come up and get it. Pop it again. He either ain't seen it or he don't care, and I don't know which. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He done. He done. Got him. Well, searched all morning, we finally found a small one. He's still moving to the right, so start swinging to the right. I'm trying to find your bait. I think it's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Go to your left. It's a pull out. He's right there, uh, left at four foot. Yep. That's probably gonna be behind him, I don't know. Go to your right. You're close. Raise up just a little bit and don't touch him. He's running from the trolling motor. All right, pop it. I think you need to go to, uh, come on, he's looking, he's looking. Has he got you? Yeah. Well, now that was some work, yeah. Brittany Lynn. <laughs> some work. That was some work. <laughs> oh, my fingers are froze. Handy how they put that rod holder in there for me. Everything looking good right now. Come on, baby. Come on. Go to your right. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Take it. Ease up a little bit. Got him. Got him. Giant. Giant. I'm going to have to get the net on this one. He done went and come alive. He did, he did. Oh. Well, if I can get the net put back down. <laughs> very nice, very nice. What do you think about this cold weather fishing? It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> Yep, and there's a whole slew of them right there. Down. Down. Caught that one's attention. Oh, got him. Yep, begging, begging. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh, she said. Oh, gosh. All right, I'll get the net then. Is he pulling? What'd you say? All oh, my fingers? They don't work. <laughs> no, he didn't see it. All right, pull up and pitch again. 
He's right there at 10. Looks like that's going to hit about right. Pop it. Here he comes. Come on. Got him. Got him. Good fish. <laughs> she is absolutely smoking them, guys. It's almost to the point that I feel sorry for these fish. You feel sorry for them? Mm -mm. <laughs> She's a uh uh. Uh -uh. Get all these carp under it, swimming all around. One of the hardest things is deciphering which one is a crappie and which one's carp. Your crappie is sitting right there, sitting still. Pop it. Go your right. Right. Pretty hard, pretty quick. He's dropping down into the car. God dang it. Stay there, stay there, stay there. You can tell the way that he's floating to the bottom that he's a crappie. All right, he has slid all the way to the bottom on us. Go to your right, right. Keep coming. Getting close. Keep coming to the right. He should be able to see it there. Pop it. We're right behind him. His head's pointed the other way. If he'll just turn and look, he turned. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Busted him. Busted him. Busted him. Boat flip that thing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, don't lose him. Don't lose him on our last fish. Oh, I about got hooked in the eye. Oh, my frozen finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well you want to close this out baby <laughs> no no well i couldn't get her to close us out here guys we are out here on real foot it's cold uh we've had a great time caught a lot of good quality fish just like that one Brittany just sniped if you haven't subscribed make sure and hit that subscribe button like this video you guys are why that we do this and we just want to get the knowledge out there and help more people get more fish in the boat put them on the hook and have a great time till next time guys we appreciate y'all tuning in